Hey everybody, Rob Satcham here from Feedback Ranch. We help small businesses go from good to great. Uh, we help you maximize your efforts and your investment that you put into your small business. And we just love helping entrepreneurs. So much of our content has been about mitigating taxes. It's been about marketing. And really our goal is just to help put win in your sales. And today what I wanna talk about is how to do AdWords properly or what are the five sins of Google AdWords that will cause you to just flush money down the toilet. Now, here's why this is important. I've been watching a lot of entrepreneurs as I do keyword research and I do analysis of competitors for my clients. A lot of people that are spending tons of money on Google that they don't need to and they're actually doing it improperly. The goal of this is to show you the five sins or the five points that are really gonna cause you to spend too much money and have a bad experience when it comes to Google AdWords. So with that, here are the five things that are gonna save you money, they're gonna cause you to have more leads, you're gonna be able to have higher sales, this is going to help you finance what you're doing. So without further ado, here are the five sins. Now the first one, the first sin of Google AdWords and generating through pay-per-click with Google is to use Google AdWords Express. Don't use AdWords Express. People don't know this. There's two different versions of AdWords. You have the full-fledged AdWords, and then you have AdWords Express. Now, AdWords Express is kind of sneaky because most small business owners are spending time in what's called their Google Bot My Business account, right? So that's where your, your uh, Google Maps account is, where all your reviews are. You can make posts and different things like that. But what they don't know is that that little thing on the bottom that says create an ad is not tied to the full-fledged, robust AdWords tool that gives you precision. It's tied to the AdWords Express tool that is like shooting a shotgun at a deer that's too far away. It just generally speaking doesn't work. Now Google, I'm sorry, um, but I really, people need to know about this. So why not use Google AdWords Express? Well, AdWords Express is very easy. You go down to the bottom in your Google My Business page, you click create an ad, you type in the ad, you put in the page that you want it to go to, you put in your categories and boom! Next thing you know, you're spending money like crazy and it's showing that you're getting these impressions and that people are clicking on it and hopefully sales occur, but here's what happens. Google AdWords is taking your basic categories that you put in there and then it's recruiting all sorts of additional AdWords or keywords that are done dumbly. They're just not intelligent keywords and you need to be very careful about that. That'll go into the next points here. But the number one sin that you can commit that'll cause you to waste money when it comes to Google AdWords is using AdWords Express. Now there are some instances where AdWords Express is acceptable, um, but from my experience, it's just, it's too hard to control where your money goes. And if you do AdWords properly, you're gonna have a lot better success. So that's number one. Now number two is you have to focus on your quality score. Focusing on your quality score. So number one um, is that you're using AdWords Express. Number two, is focusing on your quality score. Now, what does that mean? Well, when you've set up Google AdWords, the full-fledged account, here's how it works. You choose a, a set of keywords, right? Then what you're gonna do is create an ad, and that ad will be shown up on the search engine result page, and then that ad will go to your page. Google has a system that looks from the keyword to the ad and the ad copy, the words that you actually write, and the landing page, and then how people actually act once they've gotten on your page, they render all that down into what's called a quality score. And it's a, a number between zero and 10. You kind of start out at five before it knows anything about it. Here's the bottom line. By increasing your quality score, your cost per click that you actually have to pay will come down drastically. So what does this actually mean? So the first one I'm saying don't use AdWords Express. The second one is obviously use AdWords but focus on this quality score and really what you're doing is you're coming at this from the perspective of a client or somebody who's using this search term. You have to get really smart about which terms have good intent. You have to write copy that will have a high click-through rate so that when people see it, they actually wanna click it. And then you have to work on the landing page experience, okay? So the second thing is, is making sure that you're synthesizing all that so that people are clicking on it, but there's actually a landing page that holds people there so that, because your goal, if you just make a low quality score, if you just take keywords and connect it to pages that are really not connected, people are gonna click on it going, oh, I wanna see a white dress. 
and then an ad for dresses pop up. They click on dresses and they get there and there's all dresses when they initially searched white dresses. A high quality score would make sure that your keyword, if they're searching for white dresses, then the ad would be tied to white dresses and then the landing page would have white dresses on it so that people would actually stay on it. So that's the second thing. The sin is not focusing on your quality score. You need to do that. Now the third thing is, don't go for keywords that are too broad. Now stay with me here. Do homework around your keywords. Make sure that you're figuring it out, um, that people aren't just gonna be shotgun blasting these keywords. So for example, going after dresses. That's a little broad, unless you're Kohl's, right? <laughs> or unless you're Amazon. What might be better is looking at um, plus size dresses or white dresses or whatever that is, right? For me, three XLT shirts, three XLT t-shirts, three XLT graphic t-shirts would be a lot easier to do than t-shirts. So the third sin is not spending enough time to get specific on your keywords. And here's the, the second part to that is you have to be specific on your keywords and then you have to create a landing page that satisfies that specificity, okay? So create not broad, but specific keywords that you're gonna go after and then create a page for each one of them that satisfies it. That means there's more work than just doing the advertising, folks. So that's the third thing. The fourth one is not using negative keywords. There's a thing within AdWords called negative keywords, and the idea is that you are going to omit um, when certain keywords are put in there. So for example, we had a client um, who was trying to get their page in front of duplexes for sale Minneapolis, and what happened was is Duplex for sale Minneapolis is work, totally worth going after, but duplex for sale Minneapolis um, foreclosure. We didn't want to deal in foreclosure, so you have to put the negative keyword in there so that it does not spend money on ads putting it in front of people that type in foreclosures. You need to make sure that you pay attention to that. There are a lot of keywords that you don't think about that if they're included in your actual specific good term, basically mean that you won't want to spend money on it. And remember that the goal here is just not to waste money. If you don't do this stuff, these sins will cause you to throw money away. So here's the last one. You need to make sure that you use site extensions, ad extensions. So the whole idea is your plain ad has um, text on the top, a little blib, and then underneath that you have a place where you can actually connect your Google My Business page, uh, user reviews, or specific pages that are relevant to whatever that is. Make sure that you take a look at how to do that. Now, if you're hearing all this um, and that just went way over your head, here's the bottom line. Don't use AdWords Express, use AdWords. Be really careful and specific about what you're doing on AdWords because you can just flush money down the toilet. But if you do it right, it can cause leads to pour in. So I'm Rob Satram from Feedback Wrench. Uh, we'd love an opportunity to help you out with this. Give us a call at 952 200-8073 or go to our website at feedbackrench.com. Thanks.